So why do businesses fail at machine learning? It seems straightforward. These algorithms have been around for a long time. Well, it kind of boils back down to this stuff. What they don't tell you about machine learning is that there are actually two machine learnings. The research machine learning and the applied side, the decision intelligence side. And these are as different from one another as building microwave ovens and innovating in recipes in the kitchen at scale. And for the research side, you're building general purpose algorithms, microwaves, for other people to use to solve their problems. And you're trying to build that better and better microwave, and you have these benchmark data sets that your microwave has to succeed on. And of course, if you want to improve on today's microwave, you've got to know how it works. Because how are you going to improve on it if you have no idea how it works? It's impossible. And so to train you, it's going to take many years, and it's going to take graduate degrees as well, probably, if you really want to make cutting edge stuff. And of course, you need the details of that wiring diagram. And that is how almost every course out there teaches it. It is teaching you how to make the microwave. Fair enough. When there's not many microwaves around, if you want to use a microwave, you have to build it yourself first. But it's almost like no one thought about the era where finally we would have warehouses upon warehouses of these things, all waiting, ready to go. And still, all we're teaching the world is how to build more microwaves. Who is using these microwaves? And how do we start using them better? I mean, if you're going to run an industrial kitchen at scale, it's not trivial. There's a lot to it. And if your entire plan for doing that is that the first people you're going to hire is a team of 20 PhD researchers who've been building microwave components their whole life, and they're supposed to figure out how to make gorgeous dishes to satisfy your customers? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> right? And that seems to be the approach that businesses are taking these days. It's this over-focus on building and understanding the algorithms. And, and going beyond that and going to the applied side is a, it's a matter of hope. The entire strategy here is hope. You hope that someone will spend their whole lives learning every little detail about how to make a better microwave, and at some point will transcend and become a great chef. And okay, some do, and sometimes you hire such a person, and you have an amazing chef in a, a well-running kitchen. Please don't pat yourself on the back for good decision-making. You did not plan that. It was an accident that your amazing microwave engineer happened to be a great chef also. So we need to start thinking about training people to look at the applied side. Don't overfocus on the algorithms. It's a good reason why in this course I took all the nitty gritty of what's going on inside the black box and I moved it to the very end and I'm going to exhaust you all first so you don't stay for it. Because mm -hmm. it's not that important to the application. If you want to be a researcher, then you need to know it. If you want to use these things, then you need to focus more on process. And you need to focus more on teamwork and decision making. And that is what this course is more about.